Hello again everybody. Um, that time of year is coming up very shortly, um, hibernation. Um, I did a very comprehensive video last year on hibernation for Lacey Sniger, why you need to do it, what you need to do, um, and what will happen if you don't hibernate your ants. Um, and I will put a link to that video in the description of this video. So if you haven't watched that, you can go back and, and see all the basics of hibernation. Um, that video actually last year was uh, quite popular. It even um, Ants Holifer did a video where he used a lot of the information that I presented, and I'll put a link to the Ants Holifer video. Um, one of the things I thought this year I would just mention is I very briefly last year skipped over. I said there are two different types um, of ants when it comes to hibernation, but I didn't go into any more detail because I didn't want to complicate things. I wanted to keep it basic. Um, so this year I'll, I'll link to a scientific paper that explains what the difference between the two types of ants are. Um, but basically the one type of ant um, is called exogenous heterodynamic um, and they only need to hibernate or will only go into hibernation if they detect a drop in temperature. So as I said in my video last year, those type of ants can be fooled and you can keep it warm and they will not go into diapause. Um, this paper lists some species, examples of species that are like this are messers, tetramoriums. So that is why people are able to get away with not hibernating their tetranor tetramoriums, for example. However, the other type of ant um, is called endogenous heterodynamic um, and they must hibernate. Um, as I've said, they look at other um, factors, not just the temperature to determine when winter is coming and they will go into diapause no matter what. You cannot keep Lacius Niger warm and fool them that winter doesn't come. Um, and last year, I hope this person doesn't mind me using their pictures, but one of my subscribers um, kept, uh, had seven colonies last year and kept some of them, I think it was three of them, warm all through the winter and put the others into hibernation to see what the results would be. And yes, as I said, Lacius and I just sort of will take advantage of you keeping them warm. And his colonies did carry on producing through most of the winter. Um, but by February, um, they had stopped and all he had was larvae. And they were still in exactly the same situation um, by April. Um, so the first of these pictures here is the 16th of February and as you can see nothing but larvae, no eggs, no pupa, they've gone into diapause. And the second picture, this one, is the 9th of April and as you can see nothing has changed, still just larvae, still in diapause. And by this point, by the 9th of April, the colonies that he had had in hibernation were charging off, developing for the new year, growing, laying eggs, turning pupa, um, uh, but the non-hibernated colonies had just stagnated completely and were showing no signs of growing at all. Um, which is what I, I knew would happen from reading the scientific papers, but it's nice to have it confirmed by somebody doing it. Um, I'm already seeing posts. I'm seeing posts online. Um, I've even seen one comment in my comments section where people are saying, oh, my ants aren't going out into the outworld as much as they used to anymore. What's happening? My ants aren't going out into the outworld as much as they used to anymore. This is my outworld of my main colony. Um, there are about 2,000 ants now in my main colony. <laughs> you can see 10, 20 maximum in the outworld. There's hardly any in the main outworld because they're not really interested in protein. 
they are still just about interested in sugar um, but even so I've just put this sugar in today and there's nine or ten of them looking at it um, inside the nest the clumps are forming they're starting to, to group together in, in clumps of ants and I've got these dark patches where I just can't see the ants in there um, and I started to get close-up shots of my ants inside the nest um, and as you can see from these shots all of their gasters are fully expanded they've all, they've got themselves all stuffed up with sugar and they will lose interest even in sugar once they're all totally stuffed up like this because they don't really do anything now at this time of year they just stand around mostly waiting for hibernation so they're not expending energy not using up the sugar so they don't really need to top up anymore so once the whole colony's at 100 percent they'll stop even being interested in sugar but if they're not at 100 percent then yes they will um they will go crazy for sugar at this time of year so um, and again, here's a look at some of the test tube colonies that I've got. This is um, colonies B and uh, A, A and B, and they have also um, really slowed down. Um, they've got mostly just lava left um, and have stopped pupating. Colony C, the one I was spoiling because she's got an outworld attached, it just makes it a lot easier to feed them when they've got an outworld. If I squash a little insect, I can just drop it in. It's so simple. So they probably have got more food. Not probably, they certainly have got more food. Um, they've still got quite a big batch of pupa still to close, but um, they'll manage this before the end of October, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, and yeah, as per last year, uh, it's 19 degrees at the moment in the front room, so they're less than 20, hence all these signs are starting to happen. But next weekend, I'm going to move them into the, the other bedroom where it's a lot colder than the front room. It's probably 16, 17, 18 in there. Give them a couple of weeks in that room. Um, I still need to get these outworlds detached. It's a bit too early yet. It's only the end of September. Um, but I'm hoping if they go into that other room, have a couple of weeks at sort of 16, 17, 18 degrees, they'll retreat. I need to get them out of this water test tube in their outworld, actually. That's one of the things I want them to retreat out of there and back into the nest. But I'm sure uh, it won't be a problem in two or three weeks' time to um, get the out the outworlds disconnected, get them just into the nest, um, get that wrapped up in cardboard and get them in the fridge. Um, so yes, hibernation is coming. If you don't know what hibernation is all about, please watch my video from last year. And now is the time to start introducing your ants to cold, letting them know that the winter is coming so that they can prepare for it, making sure you're feeding them plenty of sugar so that they can stock up um, and start to think about where you're going to put them over winter, where you can get the temperature down to less than 10 degrees, but not freezing. Until next time, thank you for watching everybody. Goodbye.